This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, with your Butterscotch.com tutorial on working with contacts and groups in Jot. Now here, once again, I'm at my dashboard in Jot, and over here we have contacts. Now where it says invite people, this is where you can invite people that are already in your contacts to try out Jot. They may be getting messages from you and orienting how it is that you're doing these cool messages. So you can invite those who are already in your contacts. Here we can add new contacts. We'll click that. It brings up the quick add screen. And here you can add five people at one time. Now I'm going to put in a fictitious person. And it's important to remember that if you put in an email address and not a phone number, then they will always receive an email. If you put in a phone number and not an email address, they will receive a text and not an email. And if you put in both, they will receive both. So, you would click Add. And I won't click Add for privacy reasons because when you click Add, it will bring up your existing list of contacts. And I need to keep my contacts private. Now, another cool feature of contacts is groups. We'll go back to the dashboard and over here you'll see groups and I have a group the SIF board of directors I call it gang and I've got the email address and phone numbers for the other four board members in there so that if I want to send a message to all of them I can call from my phone say I want to jot gang and I give my message and it sends the same message to all four so this is groups it's very handy. You can send messages to single people, groups of people. You can send them to text or email or both, depending on what information you include. So that's working with contacts and groups in Jot, and that's all there is to it.